Hello, hello, my beautiful boos. I've got a video for you guys. Super excited to share this one with you guys. So, recently I've showed you guys a haul of the Agile Beauty. So, let me tell you a little story about the Agile Beauty. I was surprised with my Agile Beauty. Hubby went online and ordered me my Agile Beauty. Um, it was our anniversary, and he wanted to give me something for our anniversary. Of course, I'm really shocked because it just lets me know how much he loves me and how much he knows me. So, he ordered me some Ideal Beauty. Of course, he also let me go back to Ideal Beauty and order a few other things that I wanted to try. So, I just have to say thank you so much, darling. I love ya. But anyways, today's video is going to be swatching those acrylics. Now, I haven't really made my mind up what I'm going to do with these acrylics because I don't know if I want to swatch them all right now. I do have two more packages coming of the Ideal Beauty that haven't got here yet, but I still want to show you the colors that I have because if not, that video is going to be an hour long and who wants to watch that, right? Okay, so let's get into this. So, I'm going to be swatching these for you guys. These are, like I said, from Ideal Beauty. These are the Dip and Dap. I don't usually do dip powder that much. Uh, if I do do dip, I use base coat, so I didn't order their system just because of that fact. Um, if you like dip, you can definitely order their system and do the dip powder method with these. These are like two in one. So, not all of their powders I noticed was, uh, it was some of them were recommended for dip only. Um, I don't think I ordered, maybe I might have got one of them. My daughter likes to use dip powder sometimes, so that's one of the other reasons that I was kind of glad to get these. But now, like I said, I was not, I had no clue about these until hubby surprised me. So I was like really ecstatic. So love is hard. At least he was trying. So anyway, so these are colored powders. First thing you want to do is you want to shake your powders, shake them up really well because it's got pigment in it so they, they will sell to settle. Anything that you use, any kind of acrylic that has glitter, has pigment, you definitely have to shake those up. I really like that they are 2 ounces. These are 56 grams. They're made in the USA. I like their lids. Ooh. That one was already open. Wow, that was a accident waiting to happen. So, okay, I'm just going to swatch these for you guys. I'm excited. So, I've got to get some monomer out. Let me grab some monomer because I thought I had some in this container. You guys ever wonder sometimes? I feel like my monomer evaporates in these things sometimes. Anyways, let me go ahead and get some monomer out for you guys, and I will be right back. Okay, so I am using Glam and Glitz Monomer. This one is MA. This is, is it's actually really good. I've been using this for a while. It's about half full now. I literally need to order another one. But anyways, let's get into this video. So first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to show you guys. You need to do this before you use any colored acrylic. Um, a lot of times it can help prevent marbling and things like that because if acrylics aren't mixed well, they will tend to marble or they'll not pick up properly due to pigment and things like that. So, I'm just taking this tool and I am literally just going to mix these. This one is called Arctic Ice. I do have two of these. One of those will be in a giveaway for you guys. Keep that on the inside of the lid so that way when I go to put the lid back on it will be sealed now I'm gonna forewarn you now this video is gonna be long I can't help it guys it's, it's just not in me to have a short video I'm sorry anyways let's go ahead and do this you want to make sure your brush is super clean
Now you have to figure out the right ratio for these. I mean, acrylic will let you know when it's ready. When it starts to get that really pretty, um, kind of, you know, normally when you pick up acrylic, it'll have this, um, be a kind of gritty kind of look um but when you pick acrylic up i'm sorry um i tend to work a little drier than the normal uh, but i just want you to see it like i don't want to do it runny because i want you guys to actually see that it's very moldable you can work with these really well but look at that blue oh my god that is beautiful that's something that I have to say that I have actually learned with acrylic. Uh, used to, whenever I used to pick up acrylic, I'd just pick it up and go. Like, I didn't really realize that acrylic will let you know when it's ready. Um, you'll notice, like, when you go to pick up acrylic that it has that gritty texture to it. You have to give it time to let um, monomer get into the powder, and it'll turn the smooth texture, and then that's when you're ready to start molding the acrylic. Okay, so I'm not okay. So divine is absolutely divine. It is so pretty. You want to try to get a perfect bead. One, two, three. Lift it up. You'll see that it's gritty. Give it a second to soak up. It'll start turning a little smooth. Not so much with glitter acrylic though as to, um, um, oh my god, that's beautiful, oh my gosh, I got, that is so pretty, it's got like iridescent glitter in it, oh god, so you guys can see that, sorry, all right, so the next one I have here is Lemon Glow, Lemon Glow is actually a, a glow in the dark. I actually bought two glow in the darks. Lemon Glow is one, and I think uh, I don't remember the other. The other one's a pink. I'll I'll know it when I get to it. But this one is actually a glow like this. I'm gonna try not to make it so long. So Lemon Glow and. That's so pretty. I should have got a bigger bead though. That is a bright yellow. Very bright yellow. Wow, that's so pretty. Look how bright that is. Holy cow. I'm definitely wearing this color. I love a good yellow. Yeah, I do. Okay, so I actually have two more of these. These are mellow yellow. I don't know how I ended up mislooking, but I ended up ordering three of these. So two of those will be in a giveaway for you guys. So that way you can see these colors. Oh my God, that yellow is so pretty. Look at that. Oh my God, that divine. Ooh, baby. And that blue is gorgeous too as well. Like I'm, I'm excited for these colors. That's a very pretty yellow. Gorgeous. I'm just kind of pulling it down. Sorry. I really like that yellow. That's a good yellow. Okay, so this one is called Kimono Violet. That one soaked up really well. You can see how well they level. See, like, I mean, that's really perfect. I mean, you can work any way that you'd like to work with acrylic. I mean, if you want to work wet, you can definitely work wet. 
But like I said, you know, if you want to be able to mold it into the nail, you need to let it settle and gather that monomer in it. I'm just picking random ones. I don't know. Uh, this one is called Stardust. This is DD14. has like this gold shimmer in it I noticed when I just turned it this way I just noticed that there was a gold shimmer in it as well it's very pretty but that is what stardust looks like just gonna say okay so this one is called bubblegum Oh my Jesus, guys, do you see that? Oh God, that's gorgeous. It's got so much glitter in it, like, or not glitter, shimmer. It's got so much, like a shimmery glitter in it. It's beautiful. Yeah, my God. Oh my God, that is gorgeous. Look at that. It just like stuck to that side of my brush. Like what the heck. It's so It's got holographic glitter in it. And it is so freaking pretty. What the heck. Oh my god. Like all the glitter sticks on this side of it though. Wow, look at that, how pretty. Oh, oh my God, that's so freaking gorgeous. Guys, <laughs> I love it. Oh my God, I hope you guys can see this really well. Okay guys, so this one is Lemon Tart. I think I might have ordered another one of these. I'm not too sure I either ordered it or I might have took it off my cart. I don't know, but I think the last one I ordered, I really think that I had a lemon tart on there. Don't quote me on that. Mmm, that's actually pretty. It's more like a gold. Um, like a lemon. It's got like a gold hue to it. It's got gold glitter in it. I don't really know what kind of color that is though. It's kind of, it's really pretty though. Really pretty. Definitely gorgeous. So, oh my. I really like uh, This one is called Piglet. I wanted this as a, a I ordered this like where all the cover powders were. Well, not cover powders, but this will be good as a cover powder, I think. The color should be really nice. Ooh. Ooh, that shimmer. But it's got like a purple hue on the um, lid. So that being said, I'm going to actually mix this up. Because I don't know what... Um, let's go make sure there's no acrylic on there. It has a purple hue on the um, lid of the... Uh, jars so that just makes me believe that it's got some kind of purple powder in it or you know what I mean you know what I'm talking about the color the colors that they mix to make this color might have been like a small bit of purple um, so but I'm just gonna go around and mix it really well 
Okay, so you all see that purple hue in it? Do you all see that? So I'm just going to lay it down here, see what happens with it. Okay, so now once you lay it on the um, paper here, it's not so bad. It just has that little bit when you first pick it up, but it's actually a really pretty color. So that is a little deceiving when you first pick it up, so that's not so bad. I was kind of worried there at first when I first seen that swatch of it after I'd ordered it. I was like, oh no. I was like, I don't want it to turn out that color, like purple in it. Okay, so this one is Pixie Dust. I'm assuming it might be a white, maybe with maybe some kind of shimmer. I'm actually going to take this nail off and I will. Uh, I'm just going to lay it right here for you guys. That way you can still see it. I'm going to pop on another nail. Because uh, like I said, you can't see the white ones or what they look like if it's on a white paper towel. So. I'm conquering the spirit. I'm busting through the ceiling. God, it's so pretty, guys. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Definitely love Pixie Dust. I'm so happy that I got that one. There was another one, too, that I ordered. Uh, Fairy something. I don't, I don't remember, which that'll be in my next ones. Okay, I got this one. This is at midnight. This is their black. It is really black too. I'm going to put it right here. Really, really nice. It's a nice black. Okay, so this one is called Fancy Princess. It's got a little bit of a pink hue to it, so I'll put it right here. You guys can see it's got a really light hue of pink in it. And it's got shimmer in it as well. I can see the shimmer. But it's really nice, actually. It's really pretty. Oh, I like that. It's got like a gold shimmer in it. Very pretty. Let's see, I should have should have mixed it up. That was totally my mistake. Very pretty. So that way you guys can see. So it lays really nice. It's very pretty. Mm, what is this one? This one is Starstruck. Oh heavens. Look at that holographic. Oh my god. Oh my goodness, guys. That is gorgeous. Oh my god. Look at that glitter. 
You're like, wow. That is some of the prettiest glitter. Oh, wow. I'm amazed right now. Um, this one is called Arabian Nights. Alright guys, so let's... I really wanted this one. This one was really pretty on the side, but I like darker colors too, so... That one went fast. That one was beautiful. Wow. I like that though. Some of them dry really fast, some don't. This one is called Periwinkle. I'm really excited for Periwinkle. Now, I don't know why it has a different lid on it. Only thing I can think of is maybe that's the lids they had on before. Not really sure why to, you know, why it does. That was pretty. Ooh, that one was so pretty. It's got such a pretty shimmer too. Oh wow, it's got like a gold. Sh it's got a gold shimmer in it. Very pretty. Hope you guys don't mind me flatting them out like that. I just do that so I can actually see what's in it. But that's pretty. Very pretty. Love periwinkle. Next one is DD106. This is Cream Royal. I really like this. It's a nude. has shimmer in it. Very nice. That's a pretty brown. Mmm. I really like that. It does have a pretty shimmer to it, too. Um, it looks more like a silver. Uh, sorry, I'm going to lift this up for just a second. But it looks more like a silver shimmer in it, kind of. That's really nice. I like that. Sorry. I just had to pull that up so I could see the shimmer in it. Alright, so what is this one? This one is Purple Rain. A little white in it. Oh, that's nice. It's a really nice purple. It's pretty. I really like that. It does have a little bit of shimmer in it, looks like. Very, very lightly. This one is called Princess Jasmine. Now this one's taking a little longer to I don't really see any shimmer in that one. I don't think that has any shimmer in it. Um this one is the divine, that's the extra one I got. And then we have this one. This one is called Radiance. Shimmer, guys. Oh, wow. 
I'm really shocked with that one. Okay, this one is the other neon that I got. This is a neon pink. And this one is called, this is DDG04, and this is called Pink Overdose. Love. I'm gonna pick up another one. That's gorgeous. Look at that pink. If you love pink, you will love that pink overdose. And it's glow in the dark, so it's even more of a plus. I was going to order all the glow in the darks, and I wish I had now um, because I had a blue and a purple that I really wanted, but I didn't order it. So maybe next time, next time I'll get the the blue and the purple, hopefully. Okay, my lovely boos, and these are all the colors. Now I did go ahead and swatch the last three because this video is already long enough. But it was Pine Green, Cream Royal, and The Palace is the last three on the swatches there. But I hope you enjoyed all these colors. I absolutely love them. I think they're beautiful. They applied really well. Let me know what you guys think if you like this brand or not. Let me know if you like these colors. But anyways, guys, I love you all. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I love you guys. Make sure to share my videos. Don't forget to hit that bell so you get all my latest uploads. But anyways, guys, I love you all. Have a blessed day. Bye.